Well, hello and welcome to another episode of One More Pen. Today I'm looking at something I haven't seen before. It is a fountain pen. The brand is Casino. And my friend Daryl, who's traveling quite a bit, picked it up for me in Mauritius. So I'll just call this my Mauritius Casino pen. Um, it is plastic. Um, I, can, I can see that it's not a, it's not a premium um, kind of a pen, but it's fairly unique. I think I haven't seen one of these before. And um, we're just going to uh, un unwrap it um, and um, ink it up. I'll use the ink that's provided, although it's pretty standard blue. Um, I wish they would, you know, give us something different. Um, we always get just like a standard blue or bla blue and black if you're lucky, if you're really lucky. Otherwise, it's just a, I guess, like a standard royal blue or something like that. Anyway, we're going to ink it up, do a quick writing sample and just see what this pen is all about. Um, he didn't tell me what it cost. Um, so, Daryl, if you're watching this, maybe in the comments, you can just um, let us know what this pen costs. But my case would be probably around one or two USD. Um, this would be at the really cheap end uh, of these pens. So, OK, let's uh, get it out of the plastic and have a closer look. All right, let's have a closer look at what we have here. It's a, well, it's a plastic pen. It just says Casino. So I guess that's the brand. And uh, it just says two cartridges, two blue cartridges included. We have a look at the back. And this is all we have. So let's open this up. The plastic comes away from the packaging quite easily. Which is unusual. And there we have it cartridges which look to be probably standard international and the pen that is uh, posted quite securely right now let's just try and there we go so what does it say on the pen well, that's Statue of Liberty, so interesting. New York City. Well, interesting. Okay, let's talk about what we what we have here. Um, all around plastic, of course, plastic clip. We have a quick look at it. Yeah, it's not the greatest, but I I guess it'll work. You can. You can feel it's real, real plastic here. Um, okay. And you see what I see. And yes, it feels very plastically. Quite uh, large threads there. I think it'll be fine. I don't see any issues there. The section has some, um, those rings on it. So it'll, it'll provide some grip. I think it'll be fine. It feels, it feels quite okay. Uh, quite a sharp step from the section to the barrel, but um, nothing major. The nib is a very basic nib. I like the fact that it's still got the classic shape. Um, some of these cheap fountain pens have a square nib, very much like the uh, Lamy style, Lamy Safari style nibs, which I'm not crazy about. I like that they keep these sort of classic looking nibs. But there's nothing on there. It's very, very basic. A um, little bit misaligned. Um, the feed with the, with the nip. I don't know if this is something that I would be able to. I don't want to fiddle with it too much. So it is plastic. So we'll, we'll just see how it does. All right, shall we ink this up? See what happens. Mm. 
it certainly goes in quite secure. The um, at the at the end of the barrel, you do have a little hole there in the finial, so you would not be able to eye dropper the spin. Sort of a breather hole, I suppose. All right, I've given it a minute for the ink to just flow through the uh, section and feed. So let's do a writing sample with the spin. I'll be using my Rhodia dot pad as per usual. It's a really nice paper and I enjoy using it. So we have the casino. Uh, let me call it my Mauritius casino fountain pen. I don't know anything else about it except that it says uh, New York City and it has a picture of the uh, Statue of Liberty on there. Uh, it's a nice looking pen for what it is. The ink is blue and that is all I know. So let's do a writing sample. So this is the um, I'll call it Casino Mauritius. And I have no idea about the size of the nib, but my guess would be that this is a medium. Wetness is pretty decent. The ink in this pen, I don't know, let's just call it standard blue. The nib seems to have a, let's just see. It seems to be doing okay. Well, the writing experience with this pen is, I would say, pretty much probably on par with the uh, with the price point for the pen. It's not great, but it's pretty decent. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, you know, carry this pen as my everyday sort of uh, writer. But you know what? If you're in a pinch and you need to do some writing, I think this pen will be perfectly fine. It kept up with the writing, and I wasn't writing particularly slow focusing on my handwriting, anything like that. I was just letting it go and I think it did a pretty decent job. Um, I think probably the feed and the nib is somewhat misaligned there. And well, that's that's something that uh, one can look and see if you can just um, align it a little bit better. I don't know if that will make a difference. I well, maybe it will. Um, Ink flow is okay. I, I think it has a slight tendency to skip a little bit um, here or there. I felt it, but um, not a problem at all. It's it's doing a pretty decent job. So, and uh, I think it's good that we've got pens like these. We need to make fountain pens available and accessible to everyone. Um, otherwise, so many people just don't get to enjoy. Um, you know, writing with fountain pens, and it's, uh, I think it's just something that everyone should have that experience. So, folks, thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I really um, appreciate the subscriptions, and um, I will see you next time. Have a great week, everyone.